BC, hello. Hi, how you doing, Dennis? Uh, well, long time uh, fan of the show. Thank you. So, I've got a little bit of an issue with uh, the comments that you were making about uh, Admiral Gilda. And my concern, and, and this is kind of in context of having served in the military now for about 18 years, um, what are the critical problems, in your opinion, that the military is facing as we go forward? And what kind of skill sets do service members need in order to collaborate and work to overcome those hurdles? Well, why aren't the answers self-evident? You need competent, honest, courageous people, like you always did. It's, it's more than that, Dennis. The issue is, is that you need diversity of thought, and you need people that can think laterally and lack groupthink. Additionally, so do you what think, context do you, think do you the, have for... Is, do you, so think, think do you think the left, the left encourages groupthink, or in, individual think? It's, it's it's not a political issue, Dennis. What it's is it? It's an issue then? of diversity of thought, and the, Wait, the what, what, of what, operation. What does that mean, diversity of thought? So, would you like to have fascists in the armed forces? That'll give you more diversity. It's it's not. It has nothing to do with that. The decision then you're not Admiral making Gilda sense. Made. Okay, I'm asking you a question. Answer me, or I will politely get rid of you. Uh, you Let want diversity of thought. I'm, I, I'm asking you a question. If you do not answer, I will say goodbye. I will answer you. You sure. will answer me. Those are the rules that I establish. You don't like it, don't call me. If it's you want job. diversity of thought, would you like Ku Klux Klan thought, fascist thought, and anti-Semitic thought, or do you just want diversity? I think it's a stupid comment you made. That's what I'm saying. Because you don't really want diversity of thought. You want thought you agree with. You want thought that doesn't fall out of alignment with the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Bro. Okay, all right. Okay, listen, appreciate your call. I do, but I don't know what you're talking about. This mantra of diversity... Uh, the irony is, of course... Diversity of thought is exactly what is lacking at the university. I mean, the, the, and it is lacking in the admiral statement. That's what I asked. Is there one black conservative on the list? Why are only black radicals on the list of, of, of reading material? Okay. It is what it is. Uh, let's see there. Clinton, Washington, Kenneth. Hello. Good morning. Dennis, I served proudly in the United States Navy for four years aboard a wonderful ship with many black shipmates. My lieutenant uh, commander was black. At no time did we ever think one of us were better than another. We really got along. This diversity thing to me is beyond my imagination. When we had a collision at sea, all of us went to our duty station. When we had general quarters, and we saved each other's lives, but we did not do it because one was white or one was black. That's exactly right. I know that. If anything, the armed forces, I mean, look, especially if you go into a war zone, your, your buddy is, is, your, is your link to life. And your buddy could be any race. Any ethnicity, any religion, any no religion. That is correct. Minneapolis, Joe, 